The DRDO has unveiled a revolutionary robotic car kit for armed forces, which can be installed in any car, transforming it into a fully automatic and unmanned vehicle. Engine factory Avadi has achieved 100% level of indigenization of UTD-20 engine used in BMP-2 vehicles, and has also received few leads for export from friendly nations. The Indian Navy has expressed interest in procuring the Tapas drone for deployment in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. India has signed an agreement with Argentina, for the exploration and development of five lithium brine blocks in the Kitamarca province of Argentina. Jonet Technologies has demonstrated its JM-1 electric-powered kamikaze drone to the Indian Defence Minister and top army officials. Boeing has announced the opening of a 36,000 square feet warehousing facility in UP for parts supply, that will support the emergent needs of spare parts for Boeing aircraft in India. After Azerbaijan voiced disapproval of Armenia's recent defense deals with India and France, Armenian Prime Minister has asserted the right of every nation to equip its armed forces. India and Iran have reached on the final agreement on Chabahar port, and the new agreement will be valid for 10 years and will be automatically extended. Adani Defence new facility in Hyderabad will focus on producing a range of DRDO developed missiles, including the Mach 5.5 Rudram 2 anti-radiation missile. Prime Minister Modi will inaugurate a new dry dock and an international ship repair facility at the Cochin shipyard tomorrow. India is on the verge of finalizing a deal for the local manufacturing of Rolls-Royce MT-30 engines. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has successfully secured a patent for a customized illusion distorting paint scheme for the Su-75 single-engine stealth aircraft, and the patches are designed to divert visual focus away from the actual contour of the aircraft, presenting a blurred diminished and distorted version of the aircraft. Russia has already invited India to participate in the development of Su-75, and it has promised to start the test flight campaign in 2024. Russia has claimed that the acquisition price of the Su-75 is estimated around $30 million, which is $13 million cheaper than the Tejas aircraft. After delivering Drishti-10 mail UAV, Adani Defence has started discussions with the Indian military regarding the potential acquisition of the Hermes 450, which is a medium-sized multi-payload unmanned aerial vehicle, that has a range of 300 km, and an endurance of over 20 hours, and offers a range of payload options, including electro-optical sensors, electronic warfare systems and hyperspectral sensors. This offer comes at a time, when aeronautical development establishment is working on the development of a weaponized variant of the Rustam-1, but the success of the program remains uncertain. European firm MBDA and India's Larsen and Tubro has offered the ATGM-5 5th generation anti-tank guided missile to the Indian Army. It has a range of 4 km, and features new generation passive dual band seeker, new generation multi-purpose tandem warhead, smokeless propellant, 10-year lifespan without maintenance, and is also free from international traffic in arms regulations constraints. LNT will manufacture the missile entirely in India with complete technology transfer, and MBDA will also support the development of an upgraded ATGM-5 version with an extended range of 10 km. Today's Top 3 Comments